What is that in my window? Look at this fantastic Alice in Wonderland mug. Oh, that looks like a Sasha Brostoff, is it? Do you see what I see? Oh my goodness. Okay, just hoping that the price is right. Look at this gorgeous piece. Wow. Honey, you doing okay? Wow, that is amazing. something a little different today. I have been requested many many times over the last month to go shop in an antique mall. So I am over at the Paradise Valley Antique Mall in Las Vegas and I usually find a few good things in here and so that is where I am today. Uh, I also have had a lot of comments asking what is that in my window? That is pork. It's a port. It's a Star Wars thing. But I, I don't care that it's a Star Wars thing. I'm not like a Star Wars person. But I love the Porg. The Porg is adorable. I have to show you his face. You'll understand why I have a Porg in my back window. Uh, so yeah. So with that, let's get in there and see what we can find. Now I'm looking for high-end flips. High-end flips. Yes. Keeping that in my brain. All right. Let's go see what we can find. Let's get shop done. This is what my little porg looks like. Isn't he cute? That's why he's in my back window. All right, this booth is really fun with all of its mid-century goodies. Ooh, look at that string art. Oh, that's a boot scraper. He's pretty darn fun. Some uh, vintage electronic stuff. Look at those purple candle holders. They are wood. I wonder if they are originally purple. They are Bonfil. They are from Denmark. Surely nobody painted those. They really must have come that color. Okay. Oh. That looks like a Keen. Is that a Keen? <gasps> it is a Keen. 1963. This booth is 20% off. Look at this mid-century table. That is really cool. This used to be a 50% off booth that is no longer here now. <gasps> oh, look at that painting on velvet of a mountain lion. Always fun to see what you can find at an antique mall. I am gonna look at the piggy salt and peppers. I sell a lot of salt and pepper shakers. They are not priced, okay. Are you priced? No prices on the piggies. None of the piggies have a price. All right, well, there's that. These are cool. Little chickens. And again, no price. All right, well, not going to make the sale if they don't have things priced. Now we can just walk away from that. Yeah, none of these are priced. Let's see, decanters and Avon bottles and <laughs> that looks like a vintage helmet. We got some, that looks like um, Mobley I think makes that little squeaker. There's a whole bag of squeakers. For $45. There's one, two, three. There's five of them in there. That's probably not a bad price. But it's not really my thing. Weird O's. Francis the Fowl. The Way Out Dribbler. Oh goodness. And then there's. Wait a minute. The Wild Starter. Wild Wacky Monsters. Oh my gosh. There's a whole bunch of those. Those are funny. 20 bucks each. Ooh, rollerblade wheels. Hyper fat boy. These are in really good shape, too. 
Interesting. Interesting. Look at that beautiful, beautiful furniture. Love it. Look at this fantastic Alice in Wonderland mug with the Cheshire Cat grinning on the inside and the Queen of Hearts. That is really awesome. Alice in Wonderland Cafe. It is $20 though, so that is a great collector price, but not for resale, but I love it. Oh, some of this old Tupperware sure brings back memories. Oh, I just just bought Rachel some soup cups. Got Anna Lee. That seems like a really good price on an Anna Lee with a little address book. Hmm. I might come back to that. Oh, see this one's 24. That's where I would expect them to be at an antique mall. Oh, look at this one is a little elf guy. He's 17. He's a 1993. Oh, he's pretty cute. $17. I wonder if there is a discount in this booth. I'm looking around. I don't see one. Hmm. I'm not to think about him. I will think about him. The nice thing about shopping at an antique mall versus a thrift store is that an antique mall, you know, you can come back. Like it's, it's not moving as fast as it does in a thrift store. So you have time to come back and repurchase items after you go home and do a little research. <laughs> There's a green one also. So they have quite a few of those Annalise here. And that one's 14. Also probably not a bad price. Oh, look at this strawberry shortcake shelf. How sweet is that? 100 bucks on that. And then lots of ornaments. So I've decided I'm going to walk all the way around the outside and then weave myself in and out the inner booths. That's cute. Those are painted on. That is really cute for 10 bucks. All right, I think that's gonna be my first purchase. That is just super adorable. Let's see what else they have. Oh, long hair. Mm -hmm. Nothing else that's exciting me this time. I think I see something else that I want is those Borzoi dogs. Uh, the little, I think it's a little planter. It, I don't think it's a wall pocket. No, I think it's a planter for $10, so, but I have to get them to open the case for that one. So we'll see what else is in here. But that looks like the only thing that I'm gonna be taking out of here. Oh, Burlwood Owl, how much are you? 15. Hmm, he's tempting, he's tempting. As are the flamingos. That's the pair for 30. Uh, I can make a little bit on those, but not a whole bunch, so I'll leave those. I think I am going to get these depression glass, uranium glass. Um, I love how she identifies all of her stuff. Horseshoe pattern, number 612 by Indiana. Indiana glass, look at that. She puts little labels. There's four of them. They are 20% off, so they would be... Six dollars and forty cents each, and there's four. I'm gonna grab them. Look at this fun Daffy Duck mug. Sixteen. You're despicable. Remember him saying that? I remember him saying that. And then that's just a really, really bizarre mug. Who are you? Just a souvenir mug from Sicily. Wow, that's that's different for sure. I see a glass duck, 19.99. He's got the aventurine in his little beak. He does appear to be Murano. I'm thinking that uh, 20 bucks is probably not a bad price at all, but uh, I'm gonna wait on him. I'm gonna wait on him. Oh, he's really pretty too. Look at him. 
Wow, those are nice. Hmm. Oh, that looks like a Sasha Frostoff, is it? Sure is. Sasha B right there. Also $19.99. Some foo dogs, except he's got a chip. <gasps> Look at the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Sally cookie jar. She's pretty fantastic. Do you see what I see? Oh my goodness. Okay, just hoping that the price is right. Oh, they're 25 a piece for the large ones, 20 for the small one. Look at this one that's like a latticino. That one doesn't have a price on it. Mmm, that one's really pretty too. Stay. The bottom's a little off kilter there. 75 for him. Yeah. For a resale, I don't think I can do that. Unfortunately, they're beautiful. I love them. They sell well, but no can do. Look how pretty that is. Mm. All right, I think we're going to move on. Oh, look how adorable he is. There is a little chip on the spout. Where is your price tag? And who makes shoes? 22. Oh, it's a Fitz and Floyd. Look at that. 22. Gosh. That ship, though, concerns me. It does concern me. So, can't do 22. No can do. All right. Grab my little plates and keep going. Look how beautiful all of these crystals are. Oh, my gosh. There's some beautiful ones. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Amethyst. Cathedral Amethyst. $8,784. It's 366 pounds of amethyst. Lots of little stuff in this booth. What drew me into this booth was this poker table. It comes from the Stardust Casino that is long, long gone. And it actually comes with a pair of the yellow stools. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. And I'm thinking, hmm... I could make a spot for that, <laughs> but then I saw, oh no, it's $2,800. No, no, we'll just leave that right there. All right, I found a couple of interesting things over here. This is a deep, deep, dark green drip glaze pitcher, and it almost, almost looked like glass. It's so shiny. It's very intriguing. I don't know who makes it. I don't know much about it. It feels quality. And the price is $12. So that's that's the kind of thing I'll, I'll take a chance on because my prediction is this would sell for 20 to 25 in my live sales. So, and it could turn out to be something really, really nice. So I think I'll go ahead and get that. And right next to it is a little wooden elephant toothpick holder. How adorable is he? He is $6. Everything's 10% off in this booth, so he's a little less than $6. Ah, he's Papel. Papel? Can't read the rest of that, but he is vintage. Super sweet. I'm going to grab him, too. Look at this gorgeous piece. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. All right, we've got 20% off in this booth. Apollo Danbury Mint. Oh, it's a Danbury Mint piece. Oh, look at the sweet little kitty and shoe. That's a Royal Copley, almost certainly. You can tell by that base. Very, very classic Royal Copley. It also it has that heavy kind of coarseness that Royal Copley is known for. He is only $8. I think I will grab him. Silver Treasures by Godinger. Those are kind of sweet. Those are $18. $18. But they are 20% off. Forgot. I almost forgot. This booth is 20% off. So. Got a couple of elephant planters. Not picking up any more of those at the moment. Signed Ryan. Probably just some uh, 
hobbyist pieces, but they're nicely done in beautiful colors. I just don't know what I still have room for them. I'm, I'm trying to do a little piece at a time with my decorating. Look at all that with the purple and the roses. They're calling it antique. I'm not sure that's antique. I'm not sure it is. Antique is defined as over 100 years old. So that would be things made in the 1922 and prior time frame. That's interesting. These are wood with copper tops. Those are, those are interesting. That's the word. I'm going to stick with the word interesting on that one. Oh my. Wow. Um, that is a hobby piece. Yes. Yes. Vorma. Vorma made that piece. Okay. All right. Nicely done. Oh, green chicken. Green chicken is... Eleven ninety-five with twenty percent off. Do you have chips? Do you have damage? Do you have issues? Oh, you are also a royal complete. Look at now that is a little tough to get off because that unglazed portion is pretty porous, so that's tough to get off. And so they priced it just two dollars over what they paid. Actually, looks like they're going to lose a little bit of money because they're giving twenty percent off. But what do you do? What do you do? I think I'm going to rescue him. We'll see if there's anything else we need to rescue out of here. That is a really neat paperweight. It's like a paperweight in a paperweight kind of a thing. It's 25 though. Good price, just not one that we can make a good margin on. It's fun. Now this particular dealer hand paints a lot of these pieces herself, like she painted this. So they're going to be one of a kind. And uh, I have bought some pretty awesome things from her in the past. Oh, he is very, very lightweight. I don't need any more turtles. Not right now. Oh, some painted bottles. And she customizes the painting too. I think I have some coasters that I purchased that are just phenomenal. Oh my gosh, look at these earrings. She painted these little earrings. They're two pairs for 20. Fantastic. Let's see. Oh, I have pumpkins on the floor down there. I have so many pumpkins. I have so many pumpkins. You almost forget how many of something you've been collecting over time until you pull them all out and go, oh, I have collected a lot of those. <laughs> it's okay. I got a big house. I'll find room for all of them. Oh, the confetti glasses. Oh, how I love these. Love, love these. So selling them by the glass for seven dollars each one two three four five six and there's seven of them darn it i wish there was eight hmm even six of them times seven see that's what six times seven six times seven is 42 right Oof. math on the run yeah unfortunately unless i was keeping these for myself which i would be really really tempted to do that's not that's not a good pickup for resale Look at this cool vintage trivet that holds it above the ground, above the ground, above the table. I kind of am digging that. It's $20, so I love it though. I love their whole little mid-century kind of vibe going on here. Presentation is everything. There's a whole room over here just full of stuff and it is also 20% off. Look at this elephant. Look at you. 32. He's so unique. Shofu. 
Hmm. That's the thing. If I found that at a thrift store, I'd be all over it. Because it would be priced probably under $10. Like, look at these geese. Fun geese salt and peppers. They don't have a price. What is it? All the salt and peppers I'm coming across. None have prices. Goodness gracious. Okay. Let's see what else we got in this room. Oh, these are little um, chopstick holders I have learned. Oh, look at this set. It's got the uh, little martini pitcher and then a little, oh, not martini. No, because these aren't martini glasses. Okay, so what would you put in that? Why did I think martini? Because usually don't you use these for martini? That's what I was thinking. Needs one more glass, but even without that one more glass, it's okay. Let's see how much you are. 58 for the set. Seems like a good deal. Wow, here's more of these amazing gems. These are just absolutely stunning. Stunning. Those gem trees. Is this... What is this stone? I always mix this up with lapis, but it's not. This one's not lapis. It's sodalite. I was just about to say that, and then I saw it. And then this one is a tiger's eye. And then this one is just a clear quartz. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I honestly don't know where to go with all these amazing bird pictures I keep finding, but this one is only $18. How can I not bring this home for $18? It is an actual painting. Let's see. Golden Parrots by Beatrice Ramirez. Oh, it's just fantastic with my colors mixed in there too. Gotta have. I do like this piece too. Now with these, you gotta see if is it a reproduction or is it legitimately the old version? And I really don't know the difference is the problem. To me, this looks like a newer reproduction. I could be wrong. I also, if I am wrong, it'd be something I'd have to keep. And I'm not sure where I would put it. So we will let that one go. What are you? Oh, Grateful Dead. What are these? Music poster decals. Oh, they're decals. That's interesting. Jefferson Airplane. More Grateful Dead. Those are kind of cool. But where would you put such a big decal? Hmm. I am not sure. I am not sure. Oh my gosh, look at him. He is... Oh my gosh, it's the banjo skeletons. Oh, those are, those are pretty fantastic. How much are you guys? How much are you? are only $60? And it says it works. <laughs> Is it crazy that I really, really want these guys? I really, I really, I really want them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to like plug them in and m make sure they work. Oh, am I crazy? I think I'm crazy, but I got to have them. Is that a mushroom lamp? It, it is, I think. Is it a mu it is a mushroom lamp. Wow. Oh, it's signed too. That is really cool. <laughs> or is it a vase? No, maybe it's just a vase. It's just a vase. It's signed all over the place. $58. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Look at the blue on this bread box. <laughs> Somebody has painted this a phenomenal blue. I love it. All right, I see a bird. He's that, um, and I can never remember the name. I have to always look it up. In, 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 ah, I can't think of the name. 
and because intaglio is like and that's not it that's a glass thing it's and it's in ah i'll flash it up on the screen anyway it's a cute little sparrow handcrafted by bert m gunther and he's only 11 dollars must have oh no i see more cute little birds rachel's favorite color is green too so it's the pair of chirping bird salt and pepper shakers oh his chirp is long gone okay he kind of chirps not not so much <laughs> 24 uh, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait on those because uh, she's just getting her shelves put up today in fact I need to remember to put that at the end of the video our project that we got done today it's very very exciting uh, Rachel now has shelves that not only divide our room a little better but now she has a place to put all of her horses and birds and all the things that she collects this blue glaze actually it's a green glaze wall pocket it's calling me eight dollars is all Look how gorgeous that is I will grab that for eight dollars these cute little guys caught my eye missing stopper 10 bucks that's about that's about right maybe may go as much as 12 to 15 but 10 is a good price and this amberina piece 24.95 that i'm sure glows but do you think i have my black light with me no no i do not i uh keep forgetting to put it back in my purse but this part of it is going to glow this orange rim i guarantee it i think i have found the cat booth everything in this booth is cats i mean everything <laughs> At really good prices too. Five dollars for that little mug. <gasps> oh goodness, goodness! I might, I might come back and revisit this before I leave. I'm starting to get a little bit of a pile going. I do have a couple things to go up. Oh, a bunny snuck in here, and a panda. Oh, I guess it's bears and mice on this side. But then still, lots of kitty cats. Zeroing in on this beautiful German Shepherd. He is 25. This booth is 20% off though. So we will take a little peek around. See what we can find. There's the whole shell planter. Oh, these are Cordays. Let's see. $30. I am always amazed that the Cordays are not worth more because they are so intricate and just seem just way more expensive than I've ever seen them. Historically, I've never seen them go high. And it just, it just puzzles me sometimes how things don't uh, catch on to become a uh, highly desired collectible. I don't know what happened there. I think they're absolutely amazing. If I collected everything I thought was amazing, though, oh my goodness, I literally would be called a hoarder. I would. I have to, I have to work really, really hard to keep my collections down to like one or two things. And sometimes that is not easy because I like a lot of stuff. I think that's why I like being in this business because I get to handle and enjoy a lot of stuff for a while. And then I pass it on where it will be loved by somebody else. Whoop. I'm knocking stuff over. It's all good. It's all good. It was just a little metal thing that I bumped into. Oh, look at this frog. That is a contemporary piece, but how cool is he? I see a parrot. $15. wonder where you're from. You're pretty cool, but I am going to leave you. I'm going to show a little, a little discipline and we will leave the parrot behind as much as it pains me. I told Rachel I'll be on the lookout for a cute chicken for her. 
She is waiting for me to find her a cute chicken. And there must, there will be a, a chicken calling, calling her name. No, not that one. That's too big. Ooh, 40% off everything. Hmm. Let's see if we can find anything that grabs us in here. We've got a doggy planter. You're probably McCoy, just marked USA. He has that really nice turquoise color. You know what, 40% off, that makes him like nine bucks, 10 bucks. All right, I think we'll grab him. Let's see what else pulls at me. Look at these really nice mid-century tumblers. Let me put this down on the ground here and take a look at these. Are they Culver? Let's see if there's a name somewhere. Usually the name's going to be like, oh, yep, there we go. They are Culver. It's going to be right there on an edge somewhere. It is a set of, now they're calling it a set of four for 18. Ah, okay. And then they separated out the two that are as is for 10. How are they as is? Hmm. So if I wanted all of them, it'd be 28 minus 40%. So that would be, mm, be like $10 for these. And then six would be $16 for all of them. I feel like that's a good price for mid-century Culver glasses. I think I will get those. Let's see if there's anything else irresistible. Oh, a tablecloth with roosters on it. It's one of those flannel, vinyl, vinyl ones with a flannel back. Okay, I got corrected when I was looking at the uh, Raggedy Ann doll at the swap meet. She doesn't have it on her bum. She has it on her chest. Goodness, I was looking at the wrong end. Look at all the doggy socks. Holy moly, they've got like every breed imaginable. They are eight dollars a pair. I guess it's uh, time to start thinking about Christmas presents. I am looking. I am looking. I don't see anything that looks like our dogs. Nope. I see a chihuahua, but it's the wrong color. I don't see a daisy dog. Maybe I have to go over here and look at the more not specific socks. <laughs> okay, these. I like these. Look at all of these little whisk broom animals. How sweet are those? 125 each. That was somebody's collection right there. Ooh, a really cool little set of Blendo in its little uh, holder. And then of course more flamingos and birds. Hmm. Oh, I love the color on that. Do love the color. Nowhere to go with it, though. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. It's a tiki. What's it? Something creamer. And I only have one hand because I am still holding a doggy over here. I may look. I generally look at the price to decide if I'm going to look closer. The price was not at a resale pick up price so I probably won't look any closer than that but ooh, more glowy glass this is how you want to display glowy glass if you are selling it and glowy glass is not the technical term it is uranium glass I think that's just the fun term we came up with for it glowy glass look at that cool mid-century table it's so big holy smokers that is a long table I love it though. <laughs> oh, lots and lots and lots of just figurines, small stuff. Oh, look at the chicken pincushion for $10. Oh, it's a redware piece. I think we will pick that up. 
I also just spotted the little dog pin cushion right next to that one for $4.50. We'll get him as well. Now, I'm not sure this was originally meant to be a pin cushion or they took this little monkey and uh, put the little pin cushion in there, but he's only $7.50. And, you know, we're picking up pin cushions. We're going to pick him up too. And apparently I am now in the pin cushion business because I am going to get this one. And I think I'm also going to get this one. This one is $7. And this one was $7.50. Yep. All right. Okay, I am pretty convinced now somebody actually made those into pin cushions, but I think they're fabulous. So, And the prices were right. Get this salt and pepper set. 15 on that. Oh, what is that little bear getting into? Trouble, if you ask me. Just trouble. See? If there's anything else in here that uh, might be good to pick up. Look at the nuns playing cards. That is really cute. Who makes you? I don't know, it's just green felted. It's so unusual. Not something you see every day. Oh, and look! Bird feather art, $7.50 each. I will take those. And I found this guy, which is perfect for holding some of my little stones and crystals and things. So $8, he's going home with me. Oh, this is the booth that has the amazing Roseville and Weller and Van Briggle. And I did buy something the last time I was here. And she does put things on sale. So I'm kind of peeking through to see if there's anything cool this time. Hmm. I think I got my favorites last time. Ooh, that looks like a piece of Weller. I do like that. Hmm, let's see. Let's look over here. In this case, look at that chicken, salt and peppers. That's pretty awesome. Purple. Oh, I don't think purple was a very common color like it is now. So things in purple are quite rare. Oh, look at the Westmoreland lovebirds for $29.50. Seems like a good price. Mm. Nice, nice things. Nice, nice things. Look at that Doberman Pinscher statue for only $35. Wow. Wow. Some really nice things. I'm at that point though where I've, I've got a substantial pile going up at the register so I'm trying to be a little bit on the conservative side of what I'm adding to it at this point. But look at this. Who makes you? You are handmade signed horse. Look at this horse. Oh. And it is, it's signed. Hey, Miss Jones is almost what it looks like under there. Look how fantastic he is. <gasps> wow. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. This one's pulling me. This one's pulling me hard right now. Almost as much as this Siamese cat right here for $8. That's super vintage cool for $8. I'm gonna take you for sure. I just can't leave him behind. Uh, those eyes, those eyes are just talking to me. Okay, he's coming with us too. Oh, look at him. That's, um, it's blue, is it Blue Mountain? Oh gosh, why is it escaping me? It's a Canadian brand. I know it, I know it. Ah, oh, he's really cool. Really cool. 
Hmm, that's interesting. Definitely not calling to me though. All right, nothing else calling to me in here. Oh, look how cute those are. Wow. Does it get any more adorable than that? Don't know how much they are. But, oh, those are calling me. All right, walk away, Danny. Walk away. Oh, this boat has some nice stuff. Treasure craft. Are these both treasure craft or is that a sequoia? It says it's treasure craft. My hand is once again full because I don't know why I can't leave this behind, but I can't. I got a glass pumpkin. Ooh, look at that swung vase. 115 for that beauty. I like the way this booth is set up. It's very, very pleasant to shop. And I have to look at this llama. Are you an artisania? You are an artisania. 25. I'm not sure he's mid-century, but he's still worth 25. Very nice vibe in this booth. Very nice vibe. I like it. The Jetsons. Look at all that gorgeous Fiesta. They're selling the whole multicolor set for 125. That's pretty cool. I have found some fun stuff in this booth before. I generally have to get it when it's on sale though, because this this dealer knows what they've got, and there is nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, if you're a reseller, you gotta watch a little closer like these I know that I can sell for far more than $12 although they do say Cancun having the Cancun on them does kind of decrease the value hmm so I'm gonna take back what I said and I'm going to leave those I could probably get 20 for them but I'm looking for a little bit higher margin items today so we will pass on those all right, these light panels just drew me in. Wow, look at those. It's $200. I'm trying to see how they, okay, all right. I see, those are just fabulous. I love them. My jaw just about dropped when I saw these and see that they are priced all together for $35. Um, yes, please. They are all Tanala, Mexico. Very nice quality little uh, dubs. Awesome.
was fun. I think I really enjoy the relaxed atmosphere of shopping at an antique mall with like they have the oldies playing and I do know I do know most of the words. Why do I know most of the words? It's a thing. So I'm singing and I'm shopping when the camera's not on I'm singing and uh, I'm finding really good stuff. I cannot believe I found those four Tanala birds at the end all for $35. That was like what? <laughs> Ah, super exciting. Got a couple of goodies for myself, including the amazing bird painting and the funny banjo playing skeletons. And it's going to go on my front porch. It is. It's going there. I guess, I guess our Christmas decorating has begun because uh, I could not leave that behind. All right. With that, I am heading to Goodwill, but that is going to be on the next video. So you are going to have to make sure you come back hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell. Although the notification bell doesn't always work so great, but make sure you hit it anyway. And uh, I upload content every single day. So with that, I'll see you on the next one. Go be profitable and make it fun. So this is the big solution to dividing the room. And so many people were saying, how are you guys gonna share a room? Well, my handyman went and actually he picked up all the shelves for me. These are the Billy shelves from Ikea with two extensions on top. And then he built a platform down here, which we didn't think ahead and actually paint it before we put it together. So now we got to get creative. I figure I'm going to give Rachel some fun contact paper or something just to decorate and make that whatever she wants it to be. But uh, this is going to house her entire horsey birdie collection. And then we still have the curtain. So this is how we get through to the other side. But yet it's closed off so that the birds, the birds don't fly through. Or actually, should I say the birds? Hi, Mango. Hi, Scoop. And the birds, which do get to come out of their cages. So that's it, that's the big reveal. Now we get to decorate it.